Hello, welcome to part 14 of 500 Physiotherapy MCOQ series. In description, we have given simple explanation to each and every question and detailed explanation inside our telegram channel. Now let's move to question number 261. Active and passive immunity should be given to whether in all except Option A, tetanus, Option B, rabies, Option C, measles, Option D, hepatitis B. And the answer is Option C, measles. Now let's move to question number 262. A patient with complete transition of the spinal cord at C7 level will show all following except Option A, anesthesia below the level of lesion Option B, reflexia Option C, hypotension Option D, limited respiratory effort And the answer is Option D, limited respiratory effort Now let's move to question number 263 in a sensory nerve, the conduction velocity can be calculated from the distance from the stimulator to the active electrode because Option A. The sensory nerve picked up is more distal than a motor nerve picked up. Option B. The sensory nerve has no myoneural junction. Option C. Sensory nerve are more superficial. Option D. This is not true. A conduction velocity can be calculated in a motor nerve by knowing the distance from the stimulator to the active electrode. And the answer is Option B. The sensory nerve has no myoneural junction. Now let's move to question number 264. Locked in syndrome is due to Option A. Unilateral infection of the ventral pons. Option B. Bilateral infection of the ventral pons. Option C. Bilateral infection of the dorsal pons. Option D. Unilateral infection of the dorsal pons. And the answer is Option B. Bilateral infection of the ventral pons. Now let's move to question number 265. Radial deviation or abduction at the wrist is the action of Option A. Flexor carpi radialis. Option B. Extensor carpi radialis longus and extensor carpi radialis brevis. Option C. Both A and B. Option D. None. And the answer is Option A. Flexor carpi radialis. Now let's move to question number 266. Retrovirus contain Option A. DNA polymerase. Option B. Reverse transcriptase. Option C. Segmented DNA. Option D. DSDNA. And the answer is Option B. Reverse transcriptase. Now let's move to question number 267. Wrist drop is due to paralysis of Option A. Extensor carpi radialis longus. Option B. Extensor carpi radialis brevis. Option C. Extensor carpi ulnaris. Option D. All of the above. And the answer is Option D. All of the above. Now let's move to question number 268. The nerve which causes the wrist drop is Option A. Medial nerve. Option B. Cardinal nerve. Option C. Axillary nerve. Option D. Radial nerve. And the answer is Option D. Radial nerve. Now let's move to question number 269. What gain would you typically use for a sensory nerve conduction study? Option A. 10 MCV. Option B. 100 MCV. Option C. 1 MV. Option D. 10 MV. And the answer is Option A. 10 MCV. Now let's move to question number 270. A good way to differentiate between an upper trunk and a lateral cord breaker plexopathy is the finding of decreased amplitude in the Option A. Musculocutaneous nerve compound motor action potential to the biceps muscle Option B. axillary nerve CMAP to the deltoid muscle Option C. Lateral antibrachial nerve sensory nerve conduction potential Option D. Medial nerve SNAP And the answer is Option B, axillary nerve, CMAP to the deltoid. Now let's move to question number 271. Utilization time is Option A, same as chronaxia. Option B, pulse duration, retrobase current. Option C, short duration of the pulse at the rheobase current. Option D, long duration of the pulse at the rheobase current. And the answer is Option C, shortest duration of the pulse at the rheobase current. Now let's move to question number 272. 
the richie can you anastomosis option a is a communication between the deep branch of the ulnar nerve and the recurrent branch of the median nerve in the head option b can result in an all ulnar hand option c may have degeneration in the abductor pollicis brevis with an ulnar nerve lesion at the elbow option d all of the above and the answer is all of the above now let's move to question number 273 You are performing an electromyography or a nerve conduction study of upper extremity to evaluate for carpal tunnel syndrome and notice that the sensory and motor median and ulnar latency are delayed. One possible mistake that you may have made that could have resulted in this finding would be option A your anode and cathode were reversed on the stimulant. Option B you did not use maximum stimulation. Option C you did not stimulate over the nerve. Option D there was too much electrical interference and the answer is option a your anode and cathode were reversed on the stimulator now let's move to question number 274 dementia pulagistica is also called option a chronic traumatic encephalopathy option b boxer syndrome option c shaking balisi option d both a and b and the answer is Option D both A and B Now let's move to question number 274 Among the following which disease are not example of dementia Option A age related cognitive decline Option B depression Option C delirium Option D all of the above and the answer is Option D all of the above Now let's move to question number 276 The ideal width of the door for a wheelchair to move freely shall be minimum of option A 26 option B 28 option C 28 option D 32 and the answer is option D 32 Now let's move to question number 277 Which type of aphasia is a the inability to understand the written or a spoken word option A global aphasia option B fluent aphasia option C wernicke's aphasia Option D expressive aphasia and the answer is Option C Wernicke's aphasia Now let's move to question number 270A The pupillary reaction seen in autonomic dysreflexia is option A dilation option B constriction option C asymmetrical option D no response and the answer is Option A dilation Now let's move to question number 279 Identify the grade in MAS of spasticity slight increase in the muscle tone catch and resistance throughout the range of motion Option A grade 1 Option B grade 1 plus Option C grade 2 Option D grade 3 and the answer is Option B grade 1 plus Now let's move to question number 280. E2 dose of UVR is option A 2 into E1 dose, option B 2.5 into E1 dose, option C 3 into E1 dose, option D 5 into E1 dose and the answer is option B 2.5 into E1 dose. So that's all for today. If you have any doubts please comment in the comment box. I think you have learned something valuable today. See you in the next session. That's part 15. Thank you. Bye bye.